Peace and greetings, everyone. Divine Zeal here. Wanted to give a quick little video on a new custom PCB printed circuit board that we have of the CC1101 jammer. Now, this device, if you aren't aware, that I made on my last videos, um, it features this cool module the CC1101 uh, module and it operates um, at quite a few different uh, frequency bands. This radio module is really cool because it has the frequency range of 315 megahertz, 433, 868, and 915 megahertz. And it has a few different modulation schemes if you're interested in that, such as 2FSK, GFSK, ASK, and OOK. So this um, project can utilize quite a few different microcontrollers, um, but for this one, I'm using the Wemos D1 Mini, and that is an ESP. P8266. As you can see there. And um, this module is really cool because it has Wi Fi. Although it does not have um, Bluetooth like the ESP32. But you can use um, an ESP32. Uh, you could also use um, a Raspberry Pico as well um, so this project is pretty flexible um, with uh, the microcontroller you want to use um, but i prefer to use this one so um i used pcb way uh, to print out some really awesome uh, circuit boards on my last video i had this uh, set up with a breadboard uh, but as you can see I got the PCB designed uh, using EasyCAD or Easy EDA for the schematics and the PCB. And uh, PCBWay does a really amazing job. Uh, I really can't complain. This is a two layer uh, PCB board. Um, so the D1 Mini just goes right there, and then the CC110. And then I added. Um, cool extra attachment so you can plug this in to um, a flipper zero and um, in conjunction with the code you could probably make a um, flipper app that at least has basic functions um, that interact with the serial terminal um, because this has pins that connect to the power ground um, rx and tx of the flipper zero yeah, overall, it came out uh, really clean. Um, so this is a pretty small uh, device that you could kind of just put in your pocket. And then um, this is the antenna that a lot of people have. This is kind of, I think, the most popular antenna that they ship these with. Um, but... I recently just got some new ones and they sent me um, surprisingly a much, much. Sorry, my dryer was shaking the whole house. Um, but they sent a much uh, longer um, antenna than the smaller ones. And it's uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and um, get antennas like these. But you can and you should um, always. Uh, look into getting better antennas if you can <clears throat> um, Because these only have so much DBI. I imagine there's like 2 to 3 DBI uh, But something like this, this is a 2.4 gigahertz um, Antenna, but this is 10 DBI. So you get a lot much more power um, if you find better uh, antennas and if you do want to get a different one uh, make sure you get a 433 Hertz or whichever uh, frequency you want to uh, focus on um, and with this code you can um, 
change the configuration of this and of this uh, radio modules um, frequency and um, get <clears throat> a little bit more out of it um, so yeah if you want you can uh, go to PCB way I'll show you real quick how and um, you can print these out or um, you could find uh, my other links if you'd want to just buy this uh, all good to go um, like if you're not good with soldering or um, you're not good with uh, code and all that um, confusing stuff. All right, so let's say you're on my GitHub and you want to download one of my hardware files. So just go to the GitHub and you'll go to the hardware folder and then you can uh, download the Gerber files and all that. And then you're going to hop over to PCBWay and this is uh, the mega center uh, of getting all your projects done. So you're just gonna um, go do an instant quote here, put in the dimensions and um, make sure you select which project you want. There's uh, definitely quite a lot of options. Uh, but yeah, just put in the dimensions and then select how many layers and the quantity of your project. And here is just the um, center place where you'll find uh, all the different things uh, you could do. Um, they have little tool tips so you can find out um, exactly uh, what you need. Then here you could select the color. I usually like to select black for my boards if you want to have them look like mine. And then uh, any other options, especially here, if you have any extra um, suggestions, um, you could put them down there. You can also get a SMD stencil or assembly service. So there's a lot you could get. And then on the right, you could see the pricing. Um, you could get it in 24 hours uh, build time if you want. Uh, so really the uh, price is cheap, shipping is nice and easy. And you're just gonna go and add it to cart um, and make sure you have your uh, Gerber files ready. And you'll just add them right here. And once you've added all your files, you'll be good to go. And then they'll just look over your uh, project and confirm and accept once you're ready to have everything built and shipped to you. So what does uh, this look like when you want to use it? So you're going to get um, an Android phone and you're going to want to get a USB terminal or a serial USB terminal or just some sort of um, serial USB terminal app, uh, whichever one you use. And the serial terminal is just how you communicate um, with the... Uh, microcontroller or really any device with serial communication and then from here you can easily send uh, keyboard commands uh, to the device which is all set up to receive certain commands so I'll we'll plug this in real easy and look at that it opens up automatically all right so you're gonna go to usb devices you're gonna select your device so now we're connected let's go to help and look at that <clears throat> so you have tons of uh, commands and ways to interact uh, with the device And uh, you can do other things uh, like jam, TX, RX, um, chat mode, uh, play, record raw, play raw, load, save, um, stop. Um, yeah, so you could do quite a bit. And I'll leave the link uh, down below uh, where to get everything. Um, how to get uh, the PCB for my GitHub and um, gives you all the steps and guides you need to know uh, to do everything else. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. 
and I'll uh, love to help. Peace.